The addition of 5-axis option support for 2D spiral operations allows for better control of the tool axis for engraving. Spiral 2D wall only toolpaths can now use the 5-axis options, for example utilising the surface normal for the tool axis, resulting in a uniform depth of cut and cross section for the engraving. It is worth noting though that this technique projects the tool centre onto the surfaces which may result in a shift in the contact point location. In this particular example what we want to do is we're going to machine a trophy using this football shape. From this football shape we've derived a series of curves that represent the top shape of the football pattern. Now at the moment this is a 5-axis document. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some changes just so we can look at a 2D spiral without the 5-axis influence. In this case I'm going to turn off the lower two setups and under the stock indexing I'm going to change this back to no multi-axis position. Once I've done that I'm going to create a surface mill feature and for this the basis of the surface mill feature we're going to use the stock solid. If I say show selected you can see this is the material we want to machine. So I'm going to go ahead and select that surface. I'm going to create a surface mill feature choosing a single operation. In this case I'm going to do a 2D spiral and just say finish. So what this creates is a projected 2D spiral feature onto the top of my component. For this I'm just going to change the Z end location. Looking at the side of the part I'm just going to choose a position somewhere down here and apply. I go ahead and calculate this toolpath now, just hiding those curves just for the time being. We get our dropped 2D spiral toolpath like so. This is a default 2D spiral toolpath and I can use the boundary set settings to modify how I limit and how I machine this actual component. If I go back into the settings, into the 2D spiral, under the stock settings, at the moment I'm using the default stock dimensions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change and select curves for boundaries. In this case, if we draw those football patterns again, into the curve options, I can either use these for pockets, bosses, sides, and so on, or I can use the wall only setting. If I was to use a 3D pocket, for example, I went and selected this top surface here. This would give me an outer boundary for my 2D spiral. In this case I'm going to unset my Z end and calculate the toolpath inside this region. But in this case, as I said, I'm, I'm creating a, a trophy shape, so what I want to do is I want to machine this as an engraving. So we can go back into our feature into the stock settings, into the curve options. This time I'm going to select do a wall only which will allow me to follow any curve shape and create an engraving. If I rotate this round I'm also going to use a new selection method. In this case if we go to our list of options for how we want to select we have a new option called select partial. I'm going to go ahead and select that and just drag a partial box over the wireframe I'm interested in. Note that all the bits of wireframe have already been selected now using this method. I can add those in and say OK. Accept the feature. And because we're doing an engraving, I'm going to set a allowance in this case. I'm going to set a leave allowance of minus 0 0.25. Viewing from the top and calculating. We get the toolpath following along those curves and you can see it's dropped from that top position to generate that shape. However, if I view this as a 3D simulation, because we're doing a 3-axis type operation, you can see straight away 
the holder is colliding with the part because the tool is remaining vertical. If I continue to allow it to machine all of that region, you can see we get a number of collisions on the part. So what we want to do is we want to machine this as a 5-axis component. So to do this and to get the 5-axis options, the first thing I need to do, note if I just go into the surface mill feature, at the moment you can see there's no 5-axis tab. However, now if I go to the stock settings, into indexing, and select 5th axis positioning, back into my feature, you'll now see there's a 5-axis tab available. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select the lead lean. I'm going to use the surface normal of that top face that I'm using to orientate the tool. Literally going to say apply, and OK, and accept. We're going to recalculate the tool path in the center line. So now I can see the shape of my toolpath. In this case you can see where we've projected that center position onto the component to give us our contact point. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a 3D simulation. And we can see this is now a 5-axis toolpath generate my engraved shape. So just to take that on just a stage further, I'm going to turn on the two other setups. I'm going to do a machine simulation. I'm just going to calculate these toolpaths. So we get the engraving on the top. And then I've got some text around the outside to finish the trophy off. And there's my finished component, like so.